Making the decision to check into rehab and get clean from addiction often first means hitting rock bottom. After 10 years of illegal drug use tonight, one Treasure Valley mom is more thankful to be alive than ever. Six on your side's Karen Lair has her story of overcoming addiction in tonight's installment of Finding Hope. Can you say hi to grandma? Say hi. hi. Life doesn't always go as planned. Just ask Cassidy Mendoza. I mean, I thought it was going to be like everybody else, go to college, I would, you know, get married, have a family. I didn't know that I would be married to somebody that didn't want the best thing for me. The new mom is celebrating six years of sobriety after living nearly a decade from fix to fix. And it starts out slow, you know, just a few here and there, and then all of a sudden, I'm taking five at a time. Eventually, her days revolved entirely around finding and doing drugs. We just go from doctor to doctor, ER to ER, and that, that was my job to make sure that we were high all day. After falling in love with a drug addict, the former Nampa High cheer captain ended up hooked on methamphetamine, morphine, Percocets, and pretty much anything she and her then husband could get their hands on. Doing the opioids, it made me feel like I could just lose myself. I didn't have to worry about um, grief. I didn't have to worry about pain. Eight years in, her husband died of an opioid overdose. The coroner called me and said that there was lines of pills sitting out. They were sitting there waiting, so it was an accident. But even that wasn't enough to push Mendoza to seek a sober life. I still didn't even get it. I didn't get it. So I go through the funeral. I go through everything. Um, and I'm taking more pills, so this time I'm, I'm up to the big time stuff, Oxycontin, snorting up pills now by myself, I mean Vicodin, all, everything. Eventually, lying became easier than telling the truth. I was so ashamed. I lost 10 years. I mean, there's years that I don't remember. Cassidy says she'd resort to stealing money from her own mother to get high. <laughs> and that really made me feel bad in the whole world, if anything did, that I hurt her. Then in 2010, another wake up call when Cassidy fell asleep driving on the highway near New Plymouth high on morphine and stolen methadone. Three or four days later, I wake up in the hospital and the doctor asked me, why do you have methadone in your system? <laughs> I'm an addict, so I'm not going to tell the truth, right? But surgeries to repair her crushed left arm just led her back to her biggest foe. 300 pain pills gone in two days. But I didn't care. I didn't even, you know, I'm just kind of floating through life not knowing what's going on or who I'm affecting. Fast forward through two more years of regular drug use and with a strong push from her supportive mother, Cassidy had an option. I'm forever grateful to her. Go to rehab or go to jail. You can either be stubborn and continue a life of chaos or you can turn it around and use that strength to get out of it. And that's what she did. It wasn't easy and withdrawal was even worse than she imagined. I was sick for weeks. But 90 days later, Cassidy walked out of those doors with the tools she needed to stay clean. And on May 10th, she celebrated six years drug free. Now encouraging others struggling with addiction to know their strength. We're strong women and strong men. We're strong people. We can do this. Take a Tylenol instead of a Percocet. Her biggest inspiration to keep clean. She's your reward. Baby Marley. For sure. Karen Lair. Marley is joy. Six on your side. So there's so much more to her story, too. We could only fit so much in, so we put an extended interview online. If maybe you know someone that could benefit from hearing the I whole guess. story, it's on our website, sixonyourside.com. I'm, I'm, I'm just so impressed that she's so brave to share it. So well, boldly. and the support yeah. from the mother. Yes, mom. her mother never gave up, and it helped.